Yo, the samples actually came in, so why don't we go ahead and open it up? So this is the sample that we've been waiting for, and I can already tell I like it a lot better than the first one that we made. Let's open it up a little bit more so we can check out what's in here. We've teased this a little bit on the page, not too much because I, I wanted to make sure that it was fully ready before you actually saw what we're getting at, but again, you have the 100% logo on the front, now in a better material with the printing on point. You have this crazy spiff collar right there. Um, I can already tell that I'd want this spiff logo a little bit up here, but we'll get into this a little bit later. It's different than the average tee collar that we normally put on. Um, but last but not least, the thing that you'll probably find to be the most exciting part of this tee or sample is the back of it. So I don't know if you can see that at all because this is an XL, so it's kind of a big, uh, <laughs> kind of a big shirt. Um, I went for kind of an all over print on the back. I guess it's not technically all over, but I took up the entire back as you can see. And it's Deku, the 100% moment. Um, if you paid attention to last season, this is one of the most iconic moments in the series. And honestly, I'm pretty damn happy with it. The 100 stands out so much because it's a layer of like that kind of bright pink, translucent pink, I don't know, <laughs> whatever pink you want to call it, it stands out. Then we have this great graphic, and on top of that, the dragons that I'm always drawing, I decided to add it to the sample just to see how, would, how it would look, and it's honestly on point. Uh, the thing I like most about it is that the material of the dragon itself is different. It has kind of like this, I don't know exactly how to explain the feel of it, but it's a different feel than the actual print of the entire design. It's really subtle, but it makes such an impact when you're actually like, you know, looking at it in person. On camera, you might not exactly get it, but I'm telling you now, if you saw this in person, you just be like, yeah, that was a nice little touch. Um, the difference between this sample and the last one that we made, because we actually made a sample of this tee before, is the little details such as the contrast stitching. Anywhere that has stitching, I decided to use like a black stitching to stand out a little bit more. In the previous sample, it was all just white stitching to kind of blend into the tee itself. Uh, but when I showed it to my mom and my girlfriend, they both told me that it was kind of missing something on the front. And I kind of felt like since the back is so crazy, then I didn't want to do too much more to the front. You know, I kind of wanted to leave that a little bit simple since the back is already doing a lot. And on top of that, we had this nice little collar. But I also kind of agreed that something felt like it was missing. When we added this contrast stitching, I can tell you now, I like it a lot better. It's so simple, but it just adds so much to such a basic piece in the front. You know what I mean? Besides that, oops, anything else that I need to say about this? Yeah, honestly, I'm pretty damn happy with it. No complaints at all. Again, this is probably the one thing I would change. I would want this a little bit more to the side. So when you see the final product, you're most likely gonna see this move a little bit more over here. So it kind of balances out a little bit. We're just gonna have to try it on now. Overall, I'm definitely digging this sample more than the one we previously made. There are still a few adjustments that need to happen for it to be the perfect tee for you guys, but besides that, I'm happy with how it turned out. We'll keep you updated on the drop. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.